My name is Dr. Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is on Trick of the Light Rainbows. I will introduce and explain what a Trick of the Light is and I will explain the different types of rainbows. I'll also show you two different types of experiments that you can do in class to create a rainbow. In order to help you understand this video, it would be useful for you to review two other videos first. Video 4, Lenses, for the introduction of light and the human eye. And video 10, Reflection and Refraction of Light. This would introduce the laws of physics, refraction, reflection, and light scattering. Key words. In this video we will use a number of key words. Rainbow. A rainbow is created when white light is bent or refracted while entering a droplet of water. It is split into separate colours and reflected back spectrum of light. This means the visible spectrum, the range of wavelengths of which our eyes are sensitive to. Trick of the light. Trick of the light is a phrase used to mean that what you are seeing is an effect caused by the way the light falls on things. It does not really exist in the way that it appears to you. In this video we will discuss one trick of the light, rainbow. Look at video 7, trick of the light, mirages, for another example. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomena that's caused by reflection, refraction and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. It takes the form of a multicolour circular arch. Rainbows that are caused by sunlight always appear in the sky directly opposite the sun. The spectrum of light appearing in the sky are the colours seen by the human eye. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. In English this is remembered by the mnemonic Richard of York gave battle in vain. The first letter of each word is used to represent the colour. Do you have a mnemonic to help you remember the colours? Rainbows can be caused by various forms of airborne water. They include not only rain but mist, spray and airborne dew. This is why they can be observed in a number of different locations. So how are rainbows formed? Because water is denser than air light passing from air to a raindrop at an angle slows and changes direction. This process is called refraction and reflection. The position of the sun and the raindrops in relation to the observer need to be just right for a rainbow to form. The sun needs to be behind the viewer the sun needs to be low in the sky, at an angle of less than 42 degrees above the horizon. The lower the sun is, the higher the rainbow will appear. Rain, fog or some other source of water droplets must be in front of the viewer. So how many types of rainbow have you seen? 
there are two types of rainbows. A primary rainbow or a single rainbow. In a primary rainbow, the arc shows red on the outside and violet on the inner side. The rainbow is caused by the light refracted when it's entering the raindrop, reflected inside the raindrop and refracted again when leaving it. The other type of rainbow is a double rainbow. A second arc is seen outside the primary arc. The second arc has its colours reversed. This is caused by the light being reflected twice inside the raindrop. So the next time you see a rainbow, look and see is it a single rainbow or a double rainbow and try to remember why the two are different. So let's make a rainbow. We will look at two experiments to make a rainbow. In this first one we will use a prism. But don't worry if you don't have a prism. The second experiment doesn't require any. One of the easiest and most visually stunning ways to see a rainbow is by using a prism. So what you will need strong sunlight, a prism and a whiteboard or white page. Place the white paper on the ground or on the table in direct sunlight. Put the prism on or above the paper. Rotate and move the prism around until you see rainbow colours on the paper. Here you can see the white light entering the prism and being refracted within the prism. As it exits the prism you can see the spectrum of colour red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. If you do not have a prism it is no problem. We will go through another experiment where a prism is not required. You will need strong sunlight, water, a clear glass and a small mirror. Put the mirror into the water inside the glass at an angle. Look for a reflection on the wall. Adjust the angle of the mirror to the sunlight until you see a rainbow on the wall. With this type of rainbow experiment there is more distortion because of using the mirror and water but you will still see the spectrum of light red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. What you have learned. There are two common trick of the light. Rainbows discussed in this video and mirages discussed in a second video. A trick of the light occurs because of the reflection and refraction of light through different medium. Air and water in the case of rainbows. A rainbow is created when white light is bent or refracted while entering a droplet of water. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. It is split into separate colours and reflected back. The colours seen by the human eye are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. You can conduct classroom experiments with prisms or a mirror and water to create your own rainbow.